I'm going to McMaster next year for a PhD. How am I improving the world? Uh, hopefully by making the insides of buildings more comfortable to be in. That's that's the goal. I was down there testing some sensor systems on aircraft. We were testing on military drones, but we also test stuff on civilian stuff. So we have systems that are also part of like rescue missions and things like that. So they can detect people, you know, in the ocean or in the forest and stuff like that as well. So it's both military and civilian. And I'm currently in art school. I'm in a fine arts studio. So it's, it's just like a basic traditional art program. So I'm just, I'm just painting and sculpting. I'm working for a company called Speechify. Uh, it's a text-to-speech service for people with like dyslexia and that type of thing primarily. So people with disabilities so they, they can't read as well. Hoping to raise him to be a good person and make a good contribution in the world. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> he won't ever do what you tell him to do. What I'm doing, I am still working for a company that started small and has now outgrown being small. So right now I would say that I'm teaching lots of young adults how to problem solve as well as being entrepreneurs and believe in themselves during a very difficult time in history. Ooh. So I feel like, you know, managing people is difficult enough um and them being young and uh, very impressionable there's a lot of responsibility on their shoulders nobody has worked a pandemic in our company so i'm here rooting them on and supporting them and being there for them to fall back on uh, to know that they can do this and to believe in themselves and i think i really uh, underestimated the power of my leadership that's not something that i ever really invested in prior to now. So I think I'm learning a lot about myself as well and how valued those skills can be in uh, a lot of other people's lives. Tonight, we're having some Teglatelli Bolognese with um, mushrooms. So I'm just gonna simmer this slowly for probably about the next two hours, get it all nice and tender. And then uh, we got some some nice fresh Parmesan cheese, some chopped chives, a little bit of pesto. Should be super tasty. Yeah. Hi, Grandma. Happy birthday. This is Anna, a beautiful fiance. Met her in Calgary. The mountains were calling for a reason. Yes. Feliz cumpleaños. <laughs> this is yeah. Bella, Grandma, our new puppy. Keep us lots and busy. Feliz cumpleaños a ti. Feliz cumpleaños a ti. Feliz cumpleaños abuelita. Feliz cumpleaños a ti. 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 Feliz you know, uh, you know that I consider you my second mother because you took me in when I was 17. And so I can further my education and you had two little kids and you were, you took me in and were just like a mother to me. We had a lot of great times together. Um, I just remember you doing my hair, sitting and doing my hair and we watched Ben Casey together, gives the ladybug a dozen red roses was our favorite one. Um, you took me shopping. I got my first paycheck and helped me buy a lovely coat and we just did wonderful things together. And then you really, you couldn't teach me how to cook anything, but you could, <laughs> but you sewed for it. <laughs> And you made me, you were so close for me, made me beautiful clothes. And I remember, especially my graduation dress from grade 13, and I wanted white brocade. And, and you'll remember this too, you were so afraid about cutting into that white brocade. And yet you made me a beautiful, beautiful dress, just what I wanted. 
and there were other clothes too. Oh yes, and when I had to have a home ec, I had a home ec class in teacher's college and I couldn't sew or cook. And you, <laughs> so we got the pattern, you made the clothes and I took them and passed the course. <laughs> the hot baths when I was feeling down and I was kind of lonesome for New Brunswick, you'd say get into a hot bath and I'd get into a hot bath. <laughs> So you are more than my sister-in-law. You always have been, you know I love you and I want to wish you a very, very happy birthday. Hey mom, just wanted to wish you a great birthday. Happy birthday. I will always remember the early mornings taking me to hockey practice while dad was sleeping, getting my, uh, having our games, getting, getting the uh, Macintosh toffee after the game. And uh, I think you always know that you were the one I always called before my exams at Waterloo. Happy birthday, Mom. 90 years old. And uh, you've always been my hero. And I think that probably uh, Jared feels the same way as far as a woman goes. And uh, you're the best mom that I could have ever had. And I love you. First of all, we'd like to start with uh, happy, happy birthday, nine, happy ninetieth, happy ninetieth birthday, Barbara. Barbara. That's a famous milestone that you've yeah. made, and uh, yeah. absolutely terrific. And yeah. and by the way, when you when you think about it, uh, it, it I, I don't know how you talk about someone in two minutes when you've been such a, a very important part of our lives. And uh, but we'll give it a try. We'll give it a try, and and. Uh, I, I'm just going to start with, you know, when we moved, when Sharon, well, first of all, when we moved from Saskatchewan and uh, it was, it was a real, uh, uh, you know, uh, not, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not privileged, but it, uh, I guess, uh, you know, having, being able to join Big V was probably the most significant thing in our lives that happened. And very, very we we're very fortunate. And, and uh, so when we moved from Saskatchewan, uh, it was a long, long way from home. <laughs> and, uh, and then when, uh, but we were very lucky when we met you, Barbara and, and Malin, uh, because we were a long way from home, but you made us feel at home. So welcome. You made us feel at home and you made us feel welcome. And, uh, you know, along with, uh, yourself and Mail and Barb uh, and, and uh, Tony and Joanne, uh, you actually became our Ontario parents is, is what it ended up being. And, and so we were feeling very, very fortunate to have you in our lives at, the, at that point in time. And uh, it, was, uh, it, it was absolutely terrific. Yeah. And, so, and Barb? For me, you, are, you have been a great role model because you are the hostess with the mostest and a fantastic cook. And, uh, and our boys just loved coming over to sample the, uh, the famous Dyer's Christmas candies. Oh, for sure. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, so did I. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then um, also, Barb, what I admire about you most is your courage and determination just to push through any adversity. It's just... A, fabulous quality and and uh talking about you know in terms of ad admiring uh, barb there's th there's there's something that i've always admired about you and you're the only person absolutely the only person that we know that could possibly manage Malin. there is okay. no one else absolutely no one else that could manage Malin like you have and and that is and, and it is it's been just terrific to see how you've been able to do that so yeah. and our friendship has meant so much with the both of you and and uh we wish we could be there to celebrate with you but and give you a big hug but of course that probably won't be till the new year when this covid pandemic is over and uh Enjoy your birthday. Yeah, Stay and we'll be safe. looking. And we'll be love looking for love you, and we'll be looking forward to coming over and uh, giving you a big hug. Uh, for now, we're going to give you a hug. 
and a oh. kiss. There's a hug and our kiss. And uh, we love you. And, and again, uh, happy birthday, Barbara. Love you. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay. Hi, Aunt Barb. Scott, uh, Scott's putting a video together here for you so that uh, you can have a happy birthday celebration um, at a distance like everything else these days. We wanted to introduce you to the new Hutton member of the family here. This is Sadie. And she's squiggly and just a puppy. So hello, Sadie says happy birthday. Now I'm going to put her down. Um, <laughs> let her go. Um, but yes, yeah, so you finally made it to 90. And, you know, thank God you got a big party. At least you could join Uncle Malin in his party last year because it's going to be a while till you get your own. But you made it to 90. Yay. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it'd be during the pandemic. Yeah, no kidding. I can't have a party. On top of having your birthday on Christmas Day. You have to have a pandemic cut for the 90th and can't celebrate. Yeah. Darn it. <laughs> yeah. All that. All that. Well, I hope you've been keeping well during the pandemic and how you're, I suppose Malin goes out to do it, does the shopping and, and everybody else stays in and that's here. Chris does all the shopping and I just stay in. I was just kind of thinking about all the, all the years with Aunt Barbara. Aunt Barbara, you're so awesome. Like, the thing I remember from being a little girl and going over on Christmas morning for brunches and all the times we say, I don't know how you guys did that with all the kids and the craziness. You guys were superstar. You were a superstar mom. But I always remember our house seemed like chaos, but we'd get to your house and it was like, oh, you know, it was just, it was so beautiful. And you had this matching, was it a light blue tree? You had mm. this gorgeous light blue tree and then one year it was pink and I remember always walking into your dining room and seeing that beautiful rose pink chandelier I'm into the bling and the sparkles so your house was just you were such an amazing you still are such an amazing housekeeper that you like homemaker that everything was homemade from your candy and you never even got it I, I had the caramel corn oh yeah the yeah. puppy cock in there yeah, caramel yeah. corn and they make chocolates and candy and everything just exuded love everything you did always your meals i'd be like this is for us you know <laughs> at home it was chop up the hot dogs and you guys everything you did aunt barbara your entire life your tables were beautiful your home was warm and inviting and sparkly and magical for a kid for my entire growing up. And we always felt so warm and welcome to your home uh, that you just, you know, you're an amazing aunt. And uh, which is why when, you know, things all happened and dad went on and passed, you guys have been just like family to me. You've always been family to me. I'm all about the soul family and you guys have been just right there all the way through. And the one other thing I wanted to say is that in all the times that I've seen you, I mean, you can, you know, my last week has been a roller coaster. Oh my God, I was right now. Right. You guys laugh when I'm over, but you've had this serene, just joy. Even when you're hearing pain, you might get a little teary eyed. You know that you're emotional and you're feeling, but you just have this calm, stable oh, such character that just exudes from you and i just i absolutely love everything about you aunt barbara your kindness and just the beauty of who you are shines through always so and Carrie's like <laughs> <laughs> and i haven't known you as long obviously but i think you're a terrific woman yeah so I, we i understand everything christina's saying and i, I completely believe it to be so yeah. So we just really want to send you, we sh wish you could be here. So here's our hug, group hug. Here's our group hug. <laughs> We're sending you a group hug and a big Merry Christmas to you and all the family. And we absolutely love you. And we wish you the most special sparkly. It's going to be a little quiet and a little different this year, but a sparkly, beautiful birthday. And, uh, We've been around for probably, I don't know how many of the, not 50 of the 90, uh, no, 60 of the 90 almost, oh, but we're hoping to be a big part of the next 10 to make it to 100. So uh, we love you very much and we're wishing you a very, very happy birthday, Aunt Barbara. Happy birthday. We love and you. Merry and Merry <laughs> Christmas, of course.
Happy, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Say I love you. I love you. Barbara, I'm so glad I met you those many years ago and fell in love with your mother. And then I learned and fell in love with you too. <laughs> so anyway, it's been a wonderful marriage and, and you've been a great mother to my to our children. And and uh, I wouldn't have wanted it any other way. If I hadn't met you, I think I'd probably been a bachelor for the rest of my life. Love you.